every week I get this email, every Saturday I get this email in my inbox, I see it, I'm like, I know I'm supposed to read it, but I don't read it, I don't click on it, but I never unsubscribe. Why? Because the email is, what's new for digital pathology and artificial intelligence from PubMed. I signed up for those PubMed alerts because I want to know what's new in digital pathology. Why am I not opening it? I'm going to let you know at the end of the video. But now I want to show you how to set up those PubMed alerts for digital pathology or whichever branch of science you're interested in. So what we need to do is to go to PubMed. Here we are in the PubMed website. And what we need to do is to log in here. You can log in, in with a few different options. I think I am logged in with a Google account. Let me check if it's actually working. It's working because it's sending me emails, but I don't know if I remember my password. Yes, my friends, we are in. So this is me and we have here account settings. So here we are in my account and when you click on your email then um, you can go to dashboard and this is what is going to be there. We want the search, my NCBI search and my in here it already tells me digital pathology and artificial intelligence is my search. This is what I search for. So let's search. Let's see what we've got. Digital pathology and artificial intelligence. All. So obviously we can do best match or do newest, most recent, for example. And we have different things. Like this is what? June 4th. It's two days ago. Amazing. This deep learning based risk stratification of preoperative breast biopsies using digital host light images. Interesting. What else is new here? This one is about plants and modern plant disease management. That's not for me. Artificial intelligence helps pathologists increase diagnostic accuracy and efficiency in the detection of breast cancer, lymph node metast lymph node. Yes, and this is May 29th. Interesting that we have known since quite some time, since the chameleon challenge. Anyway, doesn't matter. This is uh, my term. I like it. And what I want to do now is to get my weekly alerts. So I have to go to create alert. We're going to create alert. We have digital pathology, artificial intelligence, name of saved search. I can just call it digital pathology. You can call it whatever. Digital pathology, artificial intelligence are my search terms. Test, you can even test them. Would you like email updates? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I would like email updates. Do I want this email? Hmm. Yeah, we can keep this email. How often? I want to get it weekly. Should I get it on Sunday? Do I want to have it on Sunday? No, let's do it on Saturday, just in case. Report formats, summary text, abstract text, PubMed. Let's do summary. And how many items? I can get even 10, but you know what? Five is perfectly fine. <laughs> if I go through five, which I told you already, I don't really go through, but wait for it till the end. I'll tell you what, what's going on and what's going to change. We need to change that. Say send even when there aren't any results. No, I don't want that. Optional text and email. And we save. Yay! it's it okay and this is how it looks in my inbox so what do we have may 31st okay so that's the recent i didn't go through it but now i'm going through it the development of diagnostic support systems for the fibrosis of non-alcoholic liver disease using ai and deep learning okay interesting that is good that is relevant Automated compreps. I love those acronyms. Digital pathology. I don't know if the whole like image analysis world, but digital pathology image analysis has these acronyms. This is an automated cloud-based image analysis tool to democratize AI and digital pathology. I must read that one. But that's old. That's from February. Why am I getting this? Because EPUB was in April. Anyway. Okay. From detecting to protection. Optical sensors, robots, and AI in modern plant. Ah, we already saw that. That's not relevant. You'll have to filter through this. AI helps pathologists increase. That was the one we looked at as well. So yeah, I'm getting the right alerts. Potential of virtual triage AI to 
improve early detection, cure acuity, and much. I don't know how relevant that is, but it's somebody from Wrocław, and I studied in Wrocław, so I might need to read that. That's how you set up those alerts, and then they come to your email every week. And what are you supposed to do? You are supposed to do what we just did. Go through them and check, okay, is it uh, worth exploring or not? And you know what? If you don't get to actually reading those papers, it doesn't matter because you read the abstract, you checked the title, you know there is something out there. And I'm so smart telling you this right now, but me personally, I don't do that because I get overwhelmed when I see, oh, there's going to be five new papers that I don't have time to read. Why should I even open? I don't have time. I should go more in depth. You know what? Because I can't, let me not do anything. And that happens week after week, every Saturday. I have it in my inbox and I don't open it. Wrong! It shouldn't be like that. As I was telling myself this nonsense that, oh, you cannot go in depth, so don't even touch it. I remembered that when I was studying for my boards, veterinary pathology boards, we had like a specific journal club type where we would just go through abstracts and see if this information is even relevant for us. So that's what I want to start doing. This is my commitment to you. And what I'm planning to do, I'm very cautiously planning because I don't want to overcommit and then fail you. But if there is enough interest, if you would be interested in that, I am thinking of going live on a regular basis when I get this email and I can check whenever it makes most sense to go live when most of you are live on YouTube or on other platforms. I will go live and I will check those abstracts and then you can watch it so that you don't have to be overwhelmed with this alert that you just set up for yourself in PubMed. Let me know what you think. If you're interested in live abstract review, leave a comment, write live. If this was useful, be sure to like, subscribe to the channel. And if you are just beginning your journey in digital pathology, I have something that's going to jumpstart your digital pathology knowledge quest. And maybe you saw it in the background. It's the book, Digital Pathology One-on-One. -on -one. There is a PDF version that's free. That's going to be in the description below. And there is this beautiful soft cover that is very affordable on Amazon. You can also get the hard cover and you can bring it to the next conference where I'm going to be and I'm going to sign it for you. So go ahead, check out the free or the Amazon version. And I talk to you in the next episode.